Hi, this is Matt Macintosh and in this video I'm just going to quickly show you how you can go about creating a cat rig and using uh, a spline, have it follow that um, line that you've laid out. So to start off with, I'm just going to create a um, basic rig, one of the presets. And what I want to do with this is uh, basically create a spline that this thing's going to follow when it starts walking. So um, what I'm going to do first is uh, get the spline options. So I'm just going to quickly draw out a line um, that I want this thing to follow. Doesn't matter if it's got curves in it, you can change that stuff later on um, by editing your spline. Um, but what we need is a dummy object. So um, first off, if we go to the uh, Create tab and under Helpers, uh, instead of being with cat objects, we go to standard and create a dummy. And this is going to be the object that actually follows the spline around. So I'm going to set that up in a moment. But in order to get the cat rig working, um, select its triangular base. Go to its motion tab. And under the uh, motion uh, layers, what we want is this bottom one, uh, the actual motion layer. And under the paw icon, we just press play and play on that. We should see the guy you know, walking around. Um, under the paw icon, we can actually change um, the positioning of this uh, by going to globals. And when we've got this path node, uh, we select the dummy object that we created. Now, that automatically changes it to walk on path node. If it hasn't, just make sure that you click on this button here um, to enable it to actually follow that line. So we've done everything that we need with the uh, globals window. So I'm just going to close that. And what I want to do with this is rotate it around so it's facing the right way. So I'm just going to turn the angle snap on, go to rotate, rotate it by 90. It doesn't do it in real time. So you'll see that it pops up uh, after you've edited it. Rotate it around by 180. And um, what we've got at the moment is the character following this dummy object. But at the moment, we've not got the dummy object following the spline. So to do that, go to where it says Assign Controller. Under the uh, Transform options, you've got Position, Rotation and Scale. We need the Position option. And then under this Assign Controller button, if you click it, uh, we need the path constraints. So if we click on that, click OK, we can now tell it that we want to add a path for this object to follow. So I'm just going to click on that path. It lets me. OK, um, yep, as you can see, that's added it to the path. Because we're at 52 frames into the scene, um, it's part way around the actual object. We can see that as the character rotate, um, moves along it, it's going from the other angle. So all we'd need to do with that would be if we wanted it coming from the triangle, uh, we could grab this particular frame and move it across. This one, move it back down to zero. And what will happen then is it will actually follow the spline. Now, what we can also do is um, change the angle of this thing as it's walking around. So if I just set it as auto key, um, I can use the rotate function to actually change the direction that the cube is facing. And we can see that it automatically updates where the feet are going to position themselves so that it follows that spline a lot more effectively. So there you go. That's how you can get a character following a spline, uh, which could be useful for you know, animations or anything along those lines. Um, hope that's been useful. Thanks for watching.